Hey guys, today we're gonna learn how to speed up any internet connection on Windows. So the first step is very easy. You're gonna go to the internet icon here, click with the right button, go on open network and internet settings. Now here you're going to click on change adapter options. Here in this tab you're gonna have two options probably, one of Wi-Fi and one of cable. So for me, as I'm using just a computer right now, for me just have a cable. So we are going to click on here with the right button, go to properties, and then we are going to on configure, and here we are going to click on advanced. Here you are going to look for an option called speed and duplex. So right here we are going to click on it. It depends of your update and Windows, but if you have this like I have, you're going to click here and here on value you're going to click and go on 10 Mbps full duplex. Then OK. But now if you are using the laptop, you're going to the same place, but look for a property called aggressive roaming. You're gonna go on value, put on video. So the second option that we're gonna have to do to fix it is go on Windows plus R or you can just go with the mouse click with the right button and go on run here you're going to type gpedit.msc click OK now we're going to push a little bit this tab to the side we're going and administrative templates then you're gonna double click on network and look for something called KOS packet scheduler here inside you're going to look for this one limit reservable bandwidth double click on it and here you have those options not configured enable and disable probably for you you be uh, not configured so you're gonna have to press enable and here you're gonna have probably 80 just put on 0 and go apply and OK this option confirms that you are using only 80% of your internet here on the side also say by default the packet schedule limits the system to 80% of the bandwidth of a connection but you can use the setting to override it so in this way you're going to be able to use your internet if you put tension. Just click apply and then OK. The step number three is go on start and go on settings. Then we are going to go on update and security. Here we are going on delivery optimization and here you're gonna have this option allow the load from all the computers. It will be on on and all you have to do is press on off but these options when it's on allows people to download from your computer from your network so I was leave it off I just pause a little bit because I'm going to teach you how to see how fast is your internet because a lot of people think that it's very obvious but a lot of people don't know how to see how fast is your internet so here on Google we are going to type type fast you can go on the first one and here you're gonna see how fast is your internet for me it's 9.4 and BPS almost 100 and my upload clicking to see more is around the same another option that we can do is go on start again click with the right button on it and go on device manager here on device manage we are going to look for something called ports con and LEPT if you don't have this don't worry I'm going to show you how to fix we are gonna go on action add legacy hardware go on next 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 and now here you are going to find we are gonna looking for this one ports, can and LPT. You're gonna click next. 
here I'm going to click on communication support for me it's already one and click on X I'm going I'm not going to click right here because I already have and can happen a conflict because I already have but if you don't just click here on X and it will appear so now that you have the ports count and LPT we are going to spend click with the right button go on port settings and here on beats per second you put you by default have 9600 you're going to click and go on the max and just click OK that's the video guys if this video helped you please leave a comment below if you are not subscribed please subscribe none of those methods work for you what is impossible leave a comment below telling me that that I will make another videos helping you guys with that and I see you in the next